Hey everybody, welcome back to Prey. Uh, somebody mentioned that the the status when we when we eat some food here. So uh, as an example, see how we have that little green status icon now. That's like um, some regeneration over time. So if I just eat a whole bunch of my food right away, then uh, it kind of wastes some of that regeneration. I guess it's good in a quick pinch, but it'll slowly build up um, over time. So I shouldn't be consuming it unless it's really an emergency. Um, we do have this broke down uh, recycler here, which I'm actually gonna repair because we have some extra spare parts. Um, this way, just from time to time when we're running around, uh, we can recycle any of our junk whenever we come by. Also, uh, our suit integrity is somewhat compromised, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix this. Yeah, I think that'll do for now. So we want to head back to our office, and we want to um, watch this video now that we've got the servers back online. People have been asking why I have this Bruce Cobb here. It's just, it's this one uh, quest that we had accidentally, um, not even accidentally, we just randomly selected somebody on this personnel tracker to see how it works. Uh, it's really not important. Um, we're going to use that personnel tracker when we actually need to find somebody specific. Um, but yeah, for now, he's just gonna, he's just gonna hang out there. I wonder if it's worth, um, running along this thing. Like, we've been through the sales division. Yeah, we've been through all this area, so... This is a nice little shortcut. Why not? Can we break through here? Oh, no way. Okay, that's awesome. I know it sounds, like, simple, but uh, we should totally be using that. This is so... These are so cool, these videos. Let's watch this again. say next. You have to destroy Talos One. Oh. The research, the Typhon, nothing can survive. Great. Including you. I know how it sounds, but you've seen what those creatures can do. They're a part of you now. If even one cell gets back to Earth, we're lost. I'm sorry. I wish there was another way. January can walk you through activating the self-destruct mechanism. Alex will try to stop you. He's allergic to failure too proud to go back to mom and dad with his tail between his legs. So it's up to you now. Good luck. Told you you wouldn't like it. Yeah. Well, I knew it wasn't going to be good. Oh, look, January's here. I'm January 2035. I'm an operator. There are huh. many operators aboard Talos One, but none of them are like me. Over here. I'm your plan B. My first task was to free you from the simulation. The second wow, task was okay. to make sure you saw your video. Those are done. Interesting. New directives are now available to me. The self-destruct protocol for Talos One is activated by two arming keys. Your brother has the first. You had the second. Alex destroyed your arming key. But you hit a fabrication plan for a new one in deep storage. That's where you need to go next. We can worry about getting Alex's key afterwards. The Typhon are spreading fast, Morgan. You'll be racing against them. And your brother. This key card will grant you access to the main lift and all the labs. I like that. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to fix the lift from here. There's another route through the psychotronics lab. Morgan, that lab is where the Typhon broke containment. <laughs> Please be careful. Next topic. You asked me to provide you with more neuromods, which I've done. Good luck, Morgan. Damn. You've been trapped in the simulation for three weeks. Three weeks we've been doing this? Why, uh, why are we looking at this right now? Normally, the tests are only a few days long. 
I have your voice. It's a tactic to ease your natural suspicion. Okay. I'm sure you realize this. I mention it so that you'll know I'm earnest. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh... Simmons installed blank neuromods on you. That's why you could remember the previous day's test and escape. Oh. Every neuromod takes a snapshot of your brain and models what it would look like if you learned something new. Then it makes those changes. Billions of connections remapped in a matter of minutes. All made possible by our friends from outer space. You instructed me to sabotage the test procedures if Alex ever failed to release you, or if the Typhon organisms escaped containment. <laughs> Both happened. Imagine what would have happened if we got caught making these plans. Not good. Not good at all. Operate. Okay, so this is not something we control. This is... Okay, cool. Um, let's make some bullets, if possible. Can I create, like... Doesn't look like it can do a whole bunch at once. But we can make plenty of this ammo with the stuff that we have. How are we doing for med kits? We actually don't have any. The propulsion system we have. Med kits. Okay, we're only going to be able to make two of them, but let's do that. Looks like it stops being able to create if we have this area too full. Okay, so that actually shows us in red if we can if we can't make it. Uh, but let's go back to the bullets, make a few more of these. Should be good. Now, um, what was it in here? It's like LG repair. Like, why would we need to repair the looking glass? I wonder. Like, what would we ever use that for? Can we actually. Whoa! Oh god, please tell me that that's repairable. Oh boy. Oh, it's so cool. Your office is relatively secure. Come back if you need to rest or use the fabricator. Oh, cool. So we can actually break these? Wow, we should check that other one that we did. Where we saw the, um, that secret container. Or the 170 gram. Oh, shit. I saw it too late. Wow, subtle, subtle, well done, Mimic. Well done, you've actually had me kill myself, which is a very advanced tactic that not many creatures understand, but you, you're different. Okay, so I actually had to um, redo all of our um, fabrications of the ammo. I'm just gonna Talk to January to sabotage again. the test procedures if Alex ever failed to release you, or if the Titan organisms escaped containment. Both happen. Hello. Oh, this is this is a question mark. What is this? I have more autonomy than a typical operator. The contents of the video are sensitive. Only a flesh and blood person could handle the responsibility, I presume. I have your voice. It's a tactic to ease your natural suspicion. I'm sure you realize this. I mention it so that you'll know I'm earnest. Every neuromod takes a snapshot of your brain and models what it would look like if you learned something new. Then it makes those changes. Billions of connections remapped in a matter of minutes. All made possible by our friends from outer space. Okay, so now no mimic here. What the frick? See, we just never know. Whoa, what? <laughs> what? 
We glued it, but it doesn't... Oh, that is bizarre. Learn something new every day. Okay, so these looking... Got a phantom. These looking glasses, um... We can break them. And repair them, it looks like. Now, what is this room below us? Maintenance access only, okay. Okay, so let's review here. Uh, we can go to Psychotronics so that we can find this um, uh, crafting thing to make one of these uh, keys. I think we should go to the Trauma Center, though. Um, Simmons wrote an email to Jovan Gravilovich stating that Bellamy kept some psychoscope research data in his crew cabin. Apparently Bellamy's corpse is in the Trauma Center and he still might have the key card. Uh, which could lead us to... Um, to the crew quarters, which has a lot of stuff going on. And this is below us, which we can kind of get to pretty quickly. I wonder... Actually, we can... We can slow our descent, like so. Oh man, I saw it. I saw it. See that? You're not surprising me this time, buddy. Oh, never mind. You weren't the one. That was a cheap shot. Oh, we have another recycler here. Got it. vacuum cleaners to fix before my shift is over. Oh, make that four. Someone dropped off another. God, these things are junk. I don't think this is a drill, Octavia. I'm sending you the code. Please, come to the escape pods right now. Okay, well, we got another code. Our inventory is way too full. Um, it's gonna be tough, but it is what it is. If we want, we could get another... We can get some more space with the suit modifications. But every time we do that, it means we're taking away from something else, like Hacking 3, which could be amazing. Which we haven't had to use a lot, but having it this early could be pretty interesting. So, you know what? We're taking it. And we'll just deal with the space limitations that we have. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of this extra wrench that I don't need. Oh, actually. Actually. Why don't we recycle this? Um, there's other things we could recycle. Let's get rid of our junk. And the rest, I guess we can use an upgrade as well. And that'll free up some space and then we're good to go. Uh, we're using the glue gun actually quite a bit more than I anticipated. So why don't we get the reload speed even, well, maybe the pistol, maybe more damage. Firepower, 8 to 9. Yeah, let's do that. Biohazard waste, fantastic. 
damn it. Saw it too late. Good morning, Talos. All personnel should report to their workstation for the day. If you expect to be absent for any reason, please inform your immediate supervisor. Damn it. I'd love to be getting the jump on these, but... They're shifty little buggers. We have no way of getting through here, hey? Like, it's just broken, that's it. Alright, we'll take the long way. I mean, it could, anything. Anything could be a mimic in here. Look at the chairs. Please swipe your tracking bracelet to recall your reservation. Sylvan Bellamy tracking bracelet. Uh... Security track and bracelet issued to all Transtar employees and volunteers. Okay, so the area map will happily take that. So, it's the same crew tracker that we normally have. If we wanted to, uh, why don't we search Bellamy? System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Okay. Nope. I guess it's not by where they are, it's by where they work? Is that how it works? Please contact a qualified engineer. Like, we know where to go anyway, but... Huh. Maybe not. Strange. Oh boy, okay. Booster shots. Let's scroll to the beginning. Who is the NSP being administered to? Inventory shows a case of the booster shots are missing. Sorry, should have informed you. NSP shot was for Chief Illusion, mild physiognomic fatigue. We might be throwing down here. Some kind of bad dream. Garfield Langley? Should have logged it. Please come see me. Can you transfer charts and family records as well? Weird, I can't pull those records up. They're not in the system. Still want me to swing by. Incoming casualties. Attention all security officers in trauma. You have multiple people on route with injuries as well 
as a possible fatality. One of them is Dr. Sylvain Bellamy. Do not take him into the trauma center. He must be taken to Psychotronics. This is an extremely grave security and health issue. Repeat, do not admit Dr. Sylvain Bellamy to the trauma center. Take him to Psychotronics immediately. Of course, Alex has sent this. fan freaking tastic But that does lead us, like, everything leads to Psychotronics now. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. But since we're here... Should we try and get rid of this thing? Oh, there's not... How many are there? There's at least two. Holy shit. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. Oh, this is the... the tests. This is where they came up with the tests. Woohoo! Program requirements document psychological risk. Studies show that there is a significant likelihood of behavioral conditions and psychiatric disorders emerging among the population of crew stationed for longer than three months. Impacts of behavioral issues are minimized with appropriate tools for monitoring mood and predicting risk, while including as many Earth-like amenities and recreations as possible. Makes sense. Session log. Daniel Show, Lorenzo something, Morgan Yu. What are these files? We haven't seen these before. My concern with Dr. Calvino is increasing. I'm just gonna stand back here and hope he can't see us. His symptoms have escalated from memory loss and occasional disorientation to delusions and paranoia. His increased agitation in this session has given me cause to take his issues up with Alex during our next debriefing. So if we transfer this, what is what do we gain from this? Tell me about the dream. Oh, cool. The dream. Yes. It's um it's always in my lab and um I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you it's see similar. in the glass? Please contact well, nothing. a qualified engineer. At first, I don't want to turn it on, but I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole, an immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through. Onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wake before I can. What does it look like? The shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Probably one of these Dr. images. Calvino, does it look like this? No. No, no, that, that's. No, I, I don't. Um... Are you sure? Uh, where He's did you trying to hide going? it now. Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, Sarah Elazar. Sarah's hostilities towards me continue unabated. The distance she creates makes it difficult for me to address her issues of anxiety and distrust. Some of her answers today did lend me a bit of insight I might be able to use in future sessions to hopefully get her to open up more. Sarai, come in. It's Sarah, but you can call me Chief Elazar. Matt. <laughs> Matthias, please. Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the fire. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Met. I was just... restless. And you're better now. Not restless. I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I oh. saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred We'd civilians. read about this. Yes. Tragic. Still, 
To lose soldiers under your command. The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that, fighting, not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station, it's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> we are well-trained and poorly equipped. Seems she's right. The research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. Okay, and lastly, Daniel show. System alert. Repair is needed. Daniel exhibits relentless anger toward authority and generally and the use specifically. A few gentle questions center on a tirade that ended with her storming out of the office. I wouldn't be surprised if she decided to skip these meetings for the rest of her tenure here on Talos 1. are a waste of time. A waste of time? Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues, or authority. A year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss. And we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation, did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Through this, I'm done. Oh, it skips Report the... me to the use, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transgar North and just like on Earth's side. You assholes will bury it with your psych about bullshit. And another thing. Okay, she really is pretty hostile. This is the behavior test. New test. Oh, that's going to reset the computer over there. That's what's going on. Okay, the email. Had another one of my people present a signed note from you for fatigue. I just want to make sure it's legit. Are there a lot of people coming to you with stress-related complaints, or is it my imagination? This is from Sylvan Bellamy. Um... From hands, Matthias, I don't know what to tell you. He walked into an experiment without a psychoscope and it went sideways. We couldn't contain it after that. They controlled him. My suspicion is that the Typhon can force other beings to empathize with them. Further down the road, we can find a way to reverse engineer this, get them to empathize with us. Please help Mr. Young in quarantine for the time being. You have my thanks. Quarantine subject. Please keep away from the quarantine area. We have a potentially contagious subject in there who's suffering from memory loss. At this time, only Dr. Cole should have access. Please set the new code to 6889. What's good cop, good cop? Interrogation techniques. The typical interrogation suspect portrayed by entertainment media is stubborn, clever, or even arrogant, entering into a verbal sparring match with the interrogating officer. While this makes for good drama, it's a poor representation of actual cases. It's important to note that the majority of suspects want to talk. Let them. Provide some prompts, but only to keep the words flowing. Do not attempt to direct them, but just keep them talking. My experience, and case studies back this, has been that most people will move toward the information you want to know if you just listen to them and reaffirm their assumptions when they need it. That's a good, interesting idea. Yeah, so this is the exact same test. I wonder... At the end, though, there was another one that we didn't get to, so let's actually see... Oh, interesting, okay. Oh, wait, there it is. And we would have to answer, like, what do we see here? Oh. What is this doing for us now? Please wait. Whoops. I wonder if that's, like, relaying... Oh, boy. Qualified engineer. Huh. Whoa! We may have attracted more than what we want here. We may have caused a bit of a problem. 
attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. He's like, he's tossing fire, that's what he's doing. This is not good, this is not good, this is not good. Oh man. Yeah, this is not good. We're not equipped. Oh boy! Woo! We do not know this key, do we? That's the interrogation room. Uh, we do have a way out of here from above. I don't think we can access it though. This is, um, terrifying. Whoa! We have turrets down here. We have turrets. Go turret! Do your thing. And the turret's down. Not surprised. Got him. Petri dish. And Psy Hypos. Okay, that's unfortunate, but... What is happening here? I don't want to be hacking it. I don't want to be hacking it. But okay. Now, why did that thing attack me? I thought that was something else maybe behind it. What the frick? This is... this is getting rough. these. I did not notice that. I did not notice that. Weapon upgrades and four Neuromods? Are you kidding me? It's outstanding. Oh, this is probably the safe code. Nope. Left your character sheet on the printer. Don't forget we moved the game to the rec center and crew facilities. And it's an hour later than usual. Do us a favor and take your happy pill before showing up. See you there. I think we saw that character sheet in the other uh, security area. Elias Blatt. Turns out Yuri Kimura is like everyone else. I'll tell you over lunch. Yeah, Yuri is no more, officially. Oh, that's this door. Okay. Well, let's see if we can hack this one.
where was... Here. Yep, we can. And it's level three, which we now have. Damn it. Oh, that's not good. These things are quite hard to control. Nice. Shotgun. Oh, yes. Recycler Null Wave Transmitter. That's new. And EMP charge. Okay, this is good. This is good. Everything's fine. Developed in Psychotronics, the Null Wave Transmitter Beam emits a burst of signals which suppress the psionic abilities of anyone caught in the blast for a short period of time. Okay. Can be thrown or affixed to stationary objects. I wonder if we want to use that against those phantoms. We could probably use the, um... Um, these recycler charges, too. Attracts all objects from the short radius and recycles them into material fragments. Can we throw in our- I bet you we can. Alright. So now that I noticed that thing about the safes, we can hack a lot of them. Because level 3 seems pretty good so far. Psychotronics. Come with me. December? December in the foyer of the Neuromod division. Oh my god. I've been contacted by another operator named December. Like January, it has my voice. However, December's directive is to help me escape Talos 1. It claims that before I lost my memory, I hid the key to Alex's private escape pod in the debriefing room of the Neuromod division. Looks like Alex figured out my... its scheme, though. The key was gone. Oh, boy. I don't know who to trust, or what to trust. I honestly, no idea. I'm not- I'm not sure what's going on with these controllers now. We're gonna figure it out, though. I tell you that. Um, I'm gonna take a break here. When we come back, we're gonna continue in the, um, awesome little Psychotronics area, which seems like it's gonna be pretty straightforward and safe, so. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.